also consider yourself lucky. I I would have loved to have it for just two days, but it's like I may be able to work two weeks, three weeks is pushing it, and then I'm sick again. And that's why I told him, I said, listen, when I go back out on the road, you send me south. And that's how I ended up going to Texas. Because I told him, I can't be out there working in that cold. So, I don't know. I don't have any answers for, I can tell you, common sense-wise, this isn't going nowhere. And... You know, a lot of people can say, well, I may die from this or die from that. But um, honestly, I don't know how many more strains that I can get and still be walking around. It's like this time has been far worse than first time it just keeps on getting worse but I mean hopefully I'm able to go back to work I don't know that I'm so eager to jump now because I'm not because I don't want to be on the truck and be sick because I was miserable for those um times that I was on the truck so but at the same time you know you got bills to pay you got to go to work and that's the kind of part that kind of sucks when you're a truck driver you don't get paid if you're not working so a lot of us will do whatever we have to do for our family And that's pretty much how I am. I just don't got enough energy at this point anymore to, you know, keep on doing it that way. So, Well. I'd like to know, you, you probably got a good immune system, but I know I don't, but, uh, <laughs> I can tell you these two are nastier than the, the COVID when it first came out. The variants are getting really nasty. And they're not getting better. They're not getting lighter. You know, I think it's person by person how somebody would fare. But, I mean, it just depends. So you've gotten real lucky <laughs> staying healthy because I haven't uh, fared as well. And we're already, you know, not even into the second month of the year. And um, when COVID first came out, I spent a total of nine months. I was sick and home. And so now here we are, not even into the second month. And I've uh, spent a majority of the first part of the year sick. It's just ridiculous. Well, again, man, thank you. I mean, I'm. Uh, I only thing I can do right now is just is just sit and and listen and and let you tell your story because I, you know, I, you know, I'm just fortunate, you know, that you're in my prayers and everything, and um, and I'm hoping for, you know, for you for a speedy recovery, and. Um, and for you to, you know, get back in the truck to do what you love. But unfortunate, yeah. you know, unfortunately, you got to, you know, you got to get yourself together before you get back into the truck. 
well, funny you say that. I'm due uh, in about, I don't know, about 26 days. I'm due for my DOT physical. Ain't no way in damn hey, hell am I going to pass that. Because here's the weird thing with the Omicron and the Delta. My blood pressure when I went to the hospital. Now, mind you, never had chronic blood pressure problems. My blood pressure was 141 over 104. Ooh. Yeah. Jesus. So that's what a lot of people have been struggling with, with the those two variants is blood pressure issues. But, I mean, aside from the blood pressure issue, I mean... Uh, I don't know what's going to happen because let's say nobody has ever asked and I don't even know who to ask. Okay. Because I just got a double diagnosis of two different variants for COVID. So let's be honest. Where am I getting this DOT physical? I can barely... My doctor don't even want to see me because he don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. So, I mean, what do I do? Let's say, you know, here we are almost at the end of January. My DOT physical due by the end of February. <laughs> and um, I'm, you know, like I said, I'm not worried about the blood pressure because they gave me, you know, blood pressure medicine. So by the time, you know, I go, my blood pressure will be fine. First of all, my headache's gone. So when your blood pressure gets high, you get bad headaches. And it went away. So I'm good with that. But I'm just wondering, let's say I can't go and get my DOT physical. Uh, what happens? Because nobody, I mean, I've never asked that question. Like, my card will expire if you've been diagnosed with COVID. Will they give you a extension? How, how does that work? You know. Will Will you even be? Well, I'm 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 certain I'm I'm certain that you will be seen. They they go they they you know they'll see you, but uh, I'm 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 not even. Again, like I said, I I don't even know because my. My DOT physical ain't up until the end of the year, but I'm I'm going to I'm I'm going to, you know, go and see my DOT phys I mean get a DOT physical in about a week or so. You know. I got you know, I got a two year card and I like to, you know, I always hmm? like to stand. But I've always, hmm? always got. But, you know, it's coming up towards the end of the two years and you know, I should have done, but I thought, well, you know, I got time, but the truth of the matter is, you don't. Like I said, nine months left between the start and current. Last year, I was out a total of nine months out of work. And then now we're not even in the second month, and my, my physical due. And I'm thinking, well, should I just go ahead and, you know, go and do it? Because I get it done at the I-80 truck stop there in Walcott, Iowa. Do you, let me ask you this, do you, uh, it, being that you off the truck and everything uh, and you had to go to the hospital, 
Do you have insurance? And if so, is it through the company? Or you had to get your own? I'm 1099. I have my own insurance. Okay. okay. Um, so I, I've got 100% medical paid. How, how important, before I get off the phone, because I, I got to get some sleep. Uh, how important is insurance for for people like us as far as age and and everything? Well, let me put it in this perspective. When you have where your insurance says that you can only spend three thousand dollars out of pocket and then everything you know from that point on okay so just to clarify okay how important it is four years no maybe longer no four years ago four years and some change. I had a hysterectomy and they charged my insurance $35,000. That's just for a hysterectomy. Now, throw COVID into this and my medical bills, if I had to pay my medical bills, I would not have enough money, never, period. Because my medical bills last year were easily, easily, probably 1.5, maybe $2 million, easy. And that's with getting sick, that's with hospitalization, that's with medication, I mean, it's important if a trucker does not have medical insurance, that would be what determines your life or death at some point. Because if you don't have medical insurance, you're not going to get medication. One of my medications, they charge my insurance every month. $3,500 $3,500 just for one medication. I couldn't afford that. And I work. So medical insurance is important. That That's like <laughs> right up there with your family. I mean, you can't do without it. Because If you don't have medical insurance, nobody's wanting to touch you because this is what this pandemic is. It's a it's a dollar sign for all these pharmaceutical companies and all these people. I mean, you know, how can they give us a vaccination? and stuff, but they can't find a cure for cancer. They can bring it back now. Well, on that note, so uh, I'll definitely get back in contact with you tomorrow to see, you know, to make sure that you're all right. And, um, and you try to get some sleep, try to get some rest, and uh, try to get better. Absolutely. And you stay safe out there because I'm telling you, if I get back out there, I will be doing everything that I possibly can do in my truck and avoiding the truck stop. I hear you. I, I'm, <laughs> I, 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 you know. Let me, Even a cat has nine lives. I feel like I'm beyond nine. <laughs> well, let me get on up out of here. You have a good night, and I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye-bye. 